project in science, math, and Bahasa. And it's all about the three states of matter. Here's the booklet. But first, I want to ask you some questions. First question. Ooh, I can feel the wind. But what state of matter is wind in? Is it a solid, a liquid? For gas. Second question. What are the properties of solids, liquids, and gas? Hmm, I don't know. We've got to find out. And this booklet would answer all your questions. Okay, let's see the front page. You can see at the top there's interdisciplinary project. And then there's science, maths, and Bahasa in their names. But I just wrote Bahasa. And then there's me saying, and Winky. And you can see, going vertical, it's matter. And then horizontal, A, angles. And I put some designs. And here you can see, Mesa by Laminala. Now, let's proceed to the first page. You can see, I wrote at the top, matter. And then I put a note. Make this science, aka matter, family. The daddy is called Mr. Liquid. Look, he's wearing blue. A little bit of yellow. Thunderball. He asked, what is matter? The mommy, whose name is Mrs. Solid, said matter is anything that has mass and volume. <gasps> so that's what matter is. And then the little girl, whose name is Little Gas, <laughs> asked, but what are the three states of matter? Let's find out. Yes, what are we going to start with? Solids, liquid, or gas. One, two, three, four, five. Solids! Yes, that's correct. Solids. Solids. Mrs. Solid asked, what are the properties of solids? Well, down here, after the speech bubble, you'll see I drew a chart about the properties of solids. Isn't it nice? Let's discuss the chart. It says here that a solid cannot be compressed. <gasps> what about its volume? It says here a solid has a definite volume and a solid has a definite shape. I, it has two questions. Is a t-shirt a solid? Yes, that's right. A t-shirt is a solid. Is a flower a solid? Yes, a flower is a solid. There are other examples on this page, like sunglasses, a starfish, a hamburger, mmm, a toy panda, and a pair of scissors. Can you tell me more? Yes, that's correct. Those are solids. Let's move on to liquids. Mr. Liquid asked, what are the properties of liquids? And again, there's another chart. It said here, liquids cannot be compressed but they have a definite volume and no definite shape of course and here's one question is wine liquid yes 
There are other examples of liquids on this page, like hand wash, a drop of water, or a teardrop, some ultra milk, mm, some orange or lemon juice, and lastly, coffee from Starbucks. <laughs> Let's move on to gas. Lil Gas asked, what are the properties of gas? And again, there's a chart. Let's discuss. It said here, gas can be compressed. Yes, that is right. Gas can be compressed. It doesn't have a definite volume and it doesn't have a definite shape. Gas is the only state of matter that can be compressed. <gasps> now here's a funny question. There's a drawing of a girl and she farted. I asked, is fart a gas? The other examples of gases on this page are argon, carbon dioxide, and oxygen. So, please remember the states of matter. Solids, liquid, and gas. Now, let's move on to the math section. Here, we're going to talk about angles and solids. Angles can be found all around us. These can be described by special names. Let's begin with right angles. Right angles form 90 degrees. And in the following pictures of a box of raspberry creams, a box for a pair of eyeglasses, and at the corner of a table, they all have 90 degrees angle. The next type of angle is an obtuse angle. Obtuse angles are greater than right angles. You'd see in the in a picture of a map, a picture of a bowl of soup, and a picture of a stool. Follow the arrows and you will see the obtuse angles. Remember, obtuse angles are greater than 90 degrees. And lastly, acute angles. Acute angles are smaller than right angles. This means that acute angles are smaller than 90 degrees. You can see in the following pictures a bag, a blouse, and a mirror. Look at the hours and you will find acute angles. So please, remember these angles. Right, obtuse, and acute angles. Let's go to the last part of my project, Bahasa Indonesia. I just wrote the definition of the three states of matter, solid, liquid, and gas. I will just read to you the examples. Ua means steam. Udara means wind. Carbon monoxida means carbon monoxide. That's the gas part. Let's go to the liquid part. Yakult. He know that. Yakult. Mm. Juice means juice. Susu means milk. And that's for liquid. Lastly, solid. Gown. Gown. Jump. Clock. Buku. And here's the Science AKA Matter family. And they're saying bye. And I wrote a note to my teachers. Teachers, if you're watching this, I want to say thank you teachers for teaching me. The end. So did you learn a lot? Did you like my interdisciplinary project? If you do, then you need to subscribe to my channel. It's a banana world for imagination and hit that like button and ring that bell until next time i'm going to play badminton with my mom and dad hmm.